Do you think a lot of people know country style ribs? You know, in contest, when they give you the rules, it's always you can use uh, spare ribs, you can use long back ribs, but but country style ribs are illegal. Well, they're not ribs, so, are they? No, they're not ribs at all. <laughs> what are they? There's two kinds of country style ribs that I see. Ones are cut from a butt, and it's usually like they take thick pork steak cut. Uh, of the butt, and then they come back over and cross that to where they leave some of that blade bone in there, but it's marbled up, uh, rectangle, thick slices of pork butt. Now, that's one style of country style ribs. That's what I cooked in the recipe. Then the other style is they take a loin, and instead of it's not really the center cut of the loin. It's like that first third where it still has some of that, um, I don't know, where it comes up the, the butt, you know, it comes up the top, and it's got the like porterhouse looking cut to not porterhouse but a uh, spinalis looking cut of the loin. It's up closer to the shoulder area, and it's you know you get that different texture of meat in there. It's got some marbling in it. A lot of times I'll cut that up and then square and cut it rectangle too, and make these little cuts of rib. But it's really loin, you know, so front loin, I guess you call it. Are they about the same size? <clears throat> yeah, they're usually about the same. the The loin cut ones will probably be a little smaller. Because the butt's pretty good. If it's a big butt, you know, yeah. they make them pretty long. But that's the only difference. And it's same, I mean. Do you cook them the same way? Not really. The loin styles ones do better grilling, and you don't cook them as far. So they're better in that medium range, like 145-ish. Gotcha. Now, the butt ones, because it's a denser piece of meat with different muscles in it, need to be bro- broken down. So I treat them just like I do ribs. We throw some seasoning on them, get them on some smoke when they get some color, Pan them up, add barbecue sauce, and you could add. I mean, I've done recipes where I've added the butter, the brown sugar, the honey. Uh, I've done them. You know, you can change up the flavor on them. Do them kind of a Mexican style. You can do all kinds of Asian style with them. But really, it's just about braising them down in that sauce in a pan and getting them super tender. And we take them out; they're ready to go. You can set them back on and set the sauce if you want, but usually they don't need it. They just kind of absorb it in. They I did. flip them around in the pan and then put them on the cutting board, and they were. Melt in your mouth, delicious. You, t- you told me I was just gonna, you were gonna pull them from the pan and serve them that way, and I was like, you don't need to set that sauce. Yeah. But they did. You, Man, you they, didn't they were, need to set no, that they were sauce. Beautiful. They yeah, were beautiful. I flipped them over in that in the pan a little bit, laid them on the cutting board, let y'all take some pictures, and man, they're pretty good. Dove right into them. Now, there were none of those left. They got wiped out. 